My name is Jay. Uh, I am the head brewer at Island City Brewing Company. I'm Doug Irwin. I am the CEO of Island City Brewing Company. Uh, my name is Paul Brown, uh, and I work as a sales representative here at Island City. I am Chad Phillips, and I'm the tap room manager here at Island City. To me, Island City Brewing Company is a place that we get to share our passion with the rest of the community because it is something that I did as a hobby on the side, uh, but now it's something that I get to go to work every day and do. Island City is just a place where I get to come and kind of express myself and the beer is me. Island City to me is a place for people to come and, you know, drink and be happy and listen to music and have fun with family. So it's just a nice place for the community. Island City to me kind of represents the ability to come and work for a family. You know, we all have different titles here, but really any one of us steps into any other person's role at any time to help support them. It's a seven hour day, generally. I start in and I get everything set up, um, get all my tanks up to temperature, hoses are you know turned on, valves are open, and we start at the mill. And uh, we drop 55 pound bags of grain into the mill, one by one. Most beers are around a thousand pounds of grain. So I uh, start my morning with a workout and uh, we're getting that uh, grain into the mash tun. Uh, it's mixed with approximately three to 400 gallons of water and it sits for an hour. Uh, we're breaking down the sugars, uh, getting that ready to be boiled. Uh, we go from the mash tun into our lauder tun via pump. And uh, once we're in the lauder tun, we rake that grain bed out even. And then we're just running water or wort, as it's called, into the boil kettle. Once we're in the boil kettle, we are boiling for an hour. Throughout that hour, at different points, we're adding hops. Once we're done with that hour boil, we're going into a whirlpool and we just spin it and uh, we collect sediment in a pile in the middle. And uh, we don't need that going into our fermenters. Once we're in that whirlpool for about half an hour, we go through a heat exchanger and we're running cold water one direction and work the other direction into a fermenter. And the next day we come in and uh, we're pitching yeast. At that point, the fermenters, they're in what's called the cellar. And that's where all the magic happens. You can add more hops, your dry hops they're called. You can add different yeasts. You can make the same wort and drop in a different yeast or drop in different hops and you're gonna have a different beer completely. And once that process is complete, you crash that fermenter so the yeast drops out and then we filter it into what's called a bright tank and that's where the carbonation happens and that's kind of the beer process. My decision to work here was really based on a lot of things. I mean, I worked at a job that um, you know didn't do a whole lot for me personally. This place had opened already and I was in here a few times and I just loved the building and a couple months down the road they were um, looking for a person working in the cellar someone taking care of the beer I came in and um, interviewed for the job and told them that I didn't meet any of the qualifications and I basically told them that I have children and I have a mortgage and I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna be here every day and I can learn quickly and um, they asked me if I could start on Monday the corporate environment really was just not something that I was finding myself being um, invigorated by. Here I kind of feel a little more like an artist uh, where you know we each have our own different palette that we that we bring to the table, our own medium that we work in and a collection of us put together basically like an art gallery here. What I like most about my job is honestly working with people. Uh, I mean, obviously there's the beer, that is a great aspect, uh, but also getting that interaction and talking with people is just, it's wonderful. The nice thing about working for a local business is you have more of a community feel and we've really centered ourselves around the community and want the community to center around us. When you work in a large corporation, um, you know, you feel like a number. There's a lot more camaraderie in the small business 
than I think that there is in the big corporations. And you see big corporations trying to make that camaraderie. They're trying to do team building and get everybody on the same page where that is just what we do here. You don't necessarily have to have a career coming out of high school. You can come out of high school, come out of college and not know what your career is for a decade. And that's okay. Um, you know, just get out there and keep working and find the things that you enjoy in life and head that direction. Having a degree uh, should not be the end goal. It needs to be a stepping stone and finding, you know, where those stones are leading to is a matter of finding what makes you happy. Do what you think is right, right now. There's no right way to do something in the long run. I think if you go into a career path and say, well, I want to make a lot of money, or I really like doing this certain thing, or whatever, all of those can be good reasons. But that reason is going to change throughout your life. What you need to do is make the best decision you can make right now with the information that you have. In five years, that's going to change. Your knowledge is going to change. The information you have right now is going to change. Your situation is going to change. And you need to do the same thing then. Make the best decision you can at that point. Um, and I feel like if you always think you did the right thing at that point in time, then you can't ever really be upset with the decision you made.